Hey, horror maniacs, welcome back to another short episode of A Little Off the Top. And today's question is pretty simple as well. To you, what makes a movie a horror classic? Is it the age of the film? Is it the content that's in the film? Was it the time that it came out? You know, all these kind of questions. Was it something that just had to really shake the system? Maybe be a little bit infamous? Or maybe just a little of all of it? To me, I think it still comes down to storytelling, originality, doing something that hasn't been done before. Um, we kind of get in the trap of trying to better things all the time, and a lot of times it should just be left alone. We have classics from all the way back to the golden age of horror, all the way through all the decades leading up to now, and I would even say we have some modern classics that are out there, which can be a little tricky because of longevity. Uh, it's easy to work up something that's hot now, and say it's the best thing ever, and then you go back and revisit it in five years, and it's not there. I'll give you a prime example. And a lot of people won't like this, but the remake of Texas Chainsaw, I went to theater and saw it when it came out. I loved it. Thought it was great. I've revisited it lately, and it doesn't do it for me anymore. It's kind of weird, because I remember it being better. So that's just an example. 20 years from now, will people talk about the original, or will they talk about the remake? A lot of ways the remake is better. You got better effects, all that kind of good stuff. But you're missing that impact. You're missing what made that movie want to be remade in the first place. It's weird that when we think about remaking something, we think about those certain parts and elements of the original that make it work, and we skip them totally. That's kind of mind-boggling. With that being said, the new Halloween movie coming out and Suspiria coming out, who knows? Maybe they better the idea. I hope. I mean, we just covered The Thing. The Thing is a remake. And it's fantastic. I'm going to watch it way more times than I will the actual original movie. And there's some classics that just don't hold up as well either. You kind of go back and revisit them and you remember them being better than they were. That's just the way this thing works. But then there's still those that really just punch you in the gut. And it's funny how horror just evolves. It's always trying to up the game of where it is. That's fantastic. But you take a movie like Frankenstein. We've made a buttload of Frankenstein movies. But we still can't top that first original one for some reason. Not a single one is even as powerful as the original, not to mention Bride of Frankenstein. So how does the original still hold up? What is it that still makes us want to watch it? Lightning in a bottle? Was it just a capturing... Or oh, lightning in your neck bolt? The images of Karloff as the monster is still just amazing when you look at it. He looks dead. And for some reason, we go over the top with putting these bodies together in more recent versions. For some reason, we just can't pull it off. It's amazing that that still holds up so well. Could you even imagine going and seeing the original Frankenstein in the theater when it came out back in the day? I mean, it had to absolutely just floor everybody. I'm sure nothing like that had ever been seen before. We really haven't had a movie experience like that. I don't know, 20 years, 30 years. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. What is it that makes these a classic? Is it one element? Is it several elements working together? Maybe it's the time that these movies came out and the impact they had dealing with the issues of the time. Night of the Living Dead. Look when it came out. Shot in black and white in a time when everybody was making color. The news on TV was still in black and white. And there's so many shots in that movie that reflect a news report it gives you more reality. Not to mention, scenes directly out of that movie could be intertwined with what was actually happening on the news with all the riots and everything and made it really, really disturbing, made an impact that was current. I don't know that we really pick up on that now, but in the state of mind from back then, that was as realistic as anything because you, you were actually talking about social commentary without even knowing that's what was being talked about. That's why it was more than just a zombie flick. It was relevant. So what say you? What makes a horror movie a classic? Drop it in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Till then, we'll check you later.